Hey, Michael with X-Force PC here to talk about enabling Windows 11 support on a modern ASRock board. Now, uh, Microsoft didn't tell us that we were going to have to have a TPM or Trusted Platform Module enabled on our system. And it's, a, it's a hardware thing to support Windows 11 until really Windows 11 was almost on top of us. Um, so all the motherboard manufacturers, all the computer manufacturers, for the most part, had TPM disabled. It tended to be enabled on mobile computers, laptops, because it's a security thing, like if your computer got stolen, it's a whole thing I'm not going to get into. But on desktops, it tended to be disabled. Now, um, there are two different ways to get Windows 11 support on this particular ASRock board. Um, the first way is to simply update to the latest BIOS. If we go to, to, and I don't recommend this by the way, but if we go and we look, first of all, if we want to see if we're supported on Windows 11, you just type in PC into the search box and run the PC health check, which comes up here and we can check and we see that TPM 2.0 must be supported and enabled on this PC and it is not. So that's why we're not able to update to Windows 11. Um, but if we look here, this is the product page for this motherboard, Z590 Pro 4. If you look at the BIOS, and I make this bigger, you see that the latest release of the BIOS, I think we're on 1.4 right now, latest release supports Windows 11, and then the second thing it does is Intel TPM, basically, is enabled by default. So all the previous BIOSes, the, the TPM was not enabled by default. And on the very latest version, the only reason they came out with 1.9 was simply to enable TPM by default in the BIOS. So you could go and you could update your BIOS to the latest version and TPM would be enabled by default. But the reason I say you shouldn't do that is number one, um, if it fails in the middle of a BIOS update, you're kind of screwed. Uh, your motherboard's what we call bricked. You have to send it back to the manufacturer and it probably won't be covered by warranty. So there is danger in updating your BIOS. Um, secondly, it's unnecessary. But th thirdly, and most important to me, is there, there's a lot of customizations typically, at least I put into the BIOS, which would be lost. When you update your BIOS to the latest version, everything gets set to default. All the fan curves, the overclocking, the memory settings, all that gets to, set to default. So your fans might be spinning too fast or too slow, your memory might not be running at its rated speed, etc., etc. So that's why I don't recommend updating your BIOS. And if you do do that, it's all on you. Okay, it's all on you. The other way to get Windows 11 support is simply to go into the BIOS and turn on the TPM. So that's what we're going to do next. So go, to get into the BIOS, all you do is restart or start your computer. And as soon as the screen goes black, you just start tapping the delete key about once per second. Just delete, 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 until you get the BIOS screen up here. There we go. By default, the BIOS will start in, uh, I don't know, dummy mode? Easy mode. Okay, easy mode. I knew it. dummy mode didn't sound right. Easy mode. So we want to switch to advanced mode, which you see in the upper right-hand corner is F6. F6. We hit the right arrow and go over to security and Intel trusted, uh, excuse me, Intel platform trust technology. We hit enter and change it to enabled. We go over, I'm using the right arrow again to go over to exit and save changes and exit. And it, before we exit, it tells us everything we changed. And the only thing we changed was the Intel Platform Trust technology went from disabled to enabled. That's the only thing we changed. And I'm going to say yes, I do want to do that. And now we're going to boot back into Windows and we're going to see if we are able to install Windows 11. Now, one thing you can do is after Windows, 11, uh, Windows 10 boots is uh, you can go into your device manager. And in your device manager, 
um, I think it's under security devices. It will show Intel TPM 2.0, something to that effect. So I'm trying to stall here. <laughs> okay, it's coming along. I don't really don't like editing videos, so I'm trying to do this in one take. Uh, I'm going to type device manager or just the word device and open the device manager. And under security devices, we have Intel, look at that, tr we have Trusted Platform Module 2.0. So let's go down here and type PC for PC Health Check. And let's check and see if we can run Windows 11. Congratulations, great news. This PC meets Windows 11 requirements. And you can see all results and you can see all the different things we checked off. And we can now install Windows 11. And the only thing we changed in the BIOS was to enable that trusted platform, whatever, whatever. And we didn't flash the BIOS and risk bricking our motherboard. We did not flash the BIOS and risk losing our, any overclocking of the memory or fan curves, power settings, etc. We didn't void our warranty, yada, yada, yada. And we can now install Windows 11. And this is a Z590 board from ASRock. I'm sure this applies to Z490 and 390 and so forth. Hopefully this helps you out.